In this video, we have a small block of mass 4 kilos rests on a rough horizontal plane. The coefficient of friction between the block and the plane is 0.3. So part A, what force acting at 35 degrees above the horizontal is needed to give the block an acceleration of 1.2 meters per second per second? You may assume that the block does not tip. Okay, so let's draw a diagram. We've got a rough horizontal plane with a block which has a mass of 4 kilos, so a weight of 4g. There'll be a normal reaction force, R, working vertically upwards. And we have a force acting at 35 degrees above the horizontal. Um, so something like that. Let's call that P, Newtons. And it is working at 35 degrees to the horizontal. Now we're going to have friction working horizontally against the direction of motion. And we're accelerating at 1.2 metres per second per second, and that's to the right. So 1.2 metres per second per second. OK, so uh, we know that the block is moving and the coefficient of friction is 0 0.3. So the friction is equal to 0 0.3 times R. Now, I'm going to uh, resolve vertically um, and see what we get from that. So if I resolve vertically, taking upwards as positive, uh, we're going to get R. Now, we've got the component of the p-force here. So that would be p sine 35 degrees. And this horizontal part is P cosine 35 degrees. So P sine 35 degrees. Uh, and then take away the weight for G is going to be equal to zero. So this is telling me that R is 4G take away P sine 35 which I can then substitute directly into here to work out my friction. So the friction is going to be equal to 0 0.3 times 4g take away p sine 35. Okay. So now that we have that, we can resolve horizontally. And I'm going to take to the right as positive. And that would be P cosine 35. And then we need to take away the friction. So 0.34G take away P sine 35 is equal to the mass times by the acceleration. So 4 times by 1.2. So now I have an equation just involving P. So we have P cosine 35 take away, so 0.3 times 4G will be 1.2G. Then I'm going to have plus P sine 35 is equal to 4 times 1.2. Oh, sorry, I've got the 0.3. 0.3. Apologies. P sine 35. And on the right hand side, we've got 4 times 1.2, which is 4.8. Now, if I factorise the P cosine 35 and the 0.3 P sine 35, factor the P out, cosine 35 uh, plus 0.3 sine 35, I've got the 4.8 on the right hand side, and I'm going to add the 1.2 G to both sides. So P must be 4.8 plus 1.2 G over cosine of 35 plus 0.3 sine 35. So let's work out that. 4.8 plus 1.2 times G, and I'm using 9.8, over cosine of 35 plus 0.3 times sine of 35. And so that would be 16.7 newtons to three significant figures. 
Okay. So that's my force. So that's part A. Now part B, what is the size of the reaction force between the plane and the block? Well, that's the value of R. So I still have my value of P in here. So I've got R is going to be equal to 4G take away, and it was 16.7066, etc. sine of 35 degrees. So 4 times 9.8 take away the answer times sine of 35, and we get 29.6 uh, newtons to three significant figures.